Give you a little overview of what happened uh, last October of 2010 regarding the flood in the King of Prussia Mall. I think the call came in around 4.30 a.m. that morning. Um, I received the call from the answering service. I immediately drove to the mall. I think I got there around 5.30. I assessed the damage. I called into the office and we had crews on the way coming out and I believe they arrived sometime around 5.30, between 5.30 and 6 o'clock. Um, the first truck arrived with, I believe, about 25 or 30 pieces of equipment on it. Trucks continued to follow them the rest of the day. Um, and I would say by 6.30, we had at least a half a dozen trucks there, completely loaded with equipment, and we were already setting the equipment in the mall. By the time I got there, believe it or not, there was all, we already had over 100 men on the ground, uh, um, ready, to, uh, working already, drying out the building, bringing in equipment. There was just so much activity going on, it was unbelievable. Every store uh, on the first floor of the mall, I believe, was flooded. And that included J.C. Penney's and, and every other store, every hallway, uh, every walkway, uh, every store, the entire food court was underwater. The, um, the other thing that you, you have to understand about this job is that it occurred on October 1st, but it carried over um, until the end of October. And then there became a, a, a real concern of the mall that the mall would not be ready and, and, and to receive everyone um, for Black Friday, which was, of course, the day after uh, Thanksgiving. Our, our goal was to make sure that we met the terms and the needs and the mandates of our client. And that was that the mall be uh, entirely ready and open for, uh, for Black Friday. And uh, I'm happily, and I am very, very happy to report that, uh, that we were ready and the mall was ready. And it was a great Christmas season uh, as a result of all the hard work that uh, National Restoration and other companies as well uh, provided on behalf of the mall. Um, there's nothing that we won't do, do for our clients. And, uh, and I don't think that you find that very often. I don't think there's another company around that would offer that kind of service, that would have that kind of response time. I tell you, man, I was so proud of our guys how everyone set aside a large part of their lives for that next month and two months and the month after that uh, just, just to make sure that we met our commitment to the mall. And uh, when it was all said and done, um, to sit back and, and hear the things that were said to us and said about us as a result of our hard work, I can't tell you how well that made us feel.